Right, as you can see, I got my uh, passenger side all done up with the control arms and and the upper and lower. It's just about ready to be cinched up, about ready to put the wheels on and do a little cleaning on the on the brakes. Speaking of brakes, I got an email. I got a couple of emails. One especially from a guy named Raymond. He said to me, he recognized that I use a 98 to 2002, what's called braking system on my car, meaning calipers and, and, huh, and uh, what's called rotors. And he asked, how did I hook it up? I thought this was something that everyone was doing. So I figured, okay, I got a couple of emails on people you know, asking about this. So I figured might as well do a clip. So here it goes. What's up my LS crazed amigos? It's your boy Terry speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more big bang for your buck product and money saving info. That's right. Today we're going to talk about brakes. Okay. Now, this is how I set my brakes up. I call the company. The company's name is BRP. What they do is they make a bracket for the front and rear and you will be able to convert your single piston or either all around drum brake system on a GM to use the calipers from a 98 to 2002 come out. Let's talk about the front first. Okay, this car, when I first got it, it had drums all around. So if you want to use the kit, they have a kit for a drum and they have a kit for a disc brake to convert the regular single piston to a dual piston, which is, that's what came on the 98-2002 Camaro. First thing you got to do is you get the kit, the kit for, let's say, a drum, what you're going to have to do is keep your hub. Take apart your drum, keep your hub, send it to them for a core, for a core charge. All right? So that'll save you money there. And what happens is they will machine the, the hub to fit into this rotor and then after that then you what you have to do is you have a bracket you can't see it on because like now it's it's on my car of course but what I'll do is that little that little uh, plate will space out the caliper from you know it, it connects to the spindle to the caliper and it'll space it out so you can use the rotor from a 98 2002 Camaro and your car will stop like a 98 2002 Camaro this car stops beautifully that's what you do for the front end now let's go to the back all right, here we are. We're at the rear. Okay, now this is a, a rear brake caliper from a 98 to 2002 Camaro Firebird. Uh, so what you want to do is, if you want to convert your drum to disc, BRP, tell them that you want the kit, and the kit will come with a little spacer plate, which is, again, it will space, just like the front, it will space out the between the, the flange on the axle. It will space out the caliper so it will accommodate a rotor from a 98 to 2002 Camaro. Uh, now what you want to do is, it's very easy to install, what you do is you take out you take out the axles and then you bolt the you bolt the little spacer plate and then you also got to get the backing plates. When you go to the junkyard or either go to eBay, call eBay up, get the backing plates from uh, the Camaro so because you're gonna you're gonna install those you know it's gonna sandwich between the flange and the spacer plate and the backing plate so it's all so it could all be one piece and you put it back just like you take it apart and you'll be ready to use uh, convert your, your drum to disc. Now, if you have a stagger, now if I know most of you guys know, but if you don't know, I will explain what a stagger is. A stagger is you see how the shock right here? The shock is behind the rear axle. Now, if you have the shock behind the rear axle on the other, on the other side, that's a non-stagger. But if you have like a Camaro or Firebird, they have a shock on the back of the axle and a shock in the front. That's a stagger. If you have a stagger, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get two left side calipers and two left side backing plates to accommodate the stagger. And once you do that, you should be good to go. So let's recap. You're going to call BRP and you're going to tell them that you want to convert your front drum or front disc, single piston disc, to accommodate uh, 98 to 2002 Camaro Firebird uh, braking system, and you want to do the same for the rear. If you have a 10, you, you tell them you have a 10 or a 12 bolt. They'll tell you what you have to do and what you got to get. But you got to go to the junkyard, eBay, your friend's garage, whatever. I don't, you know, we're just, you know, this is where you, this is what you're gonna have to get. You're gonna have to get front calipers from a 98 to 2002 Camaro or Firebird, and if you have a stagger, you're going to have to get the rear calipers, two left side, a backing plate, 
and the calipers from a 98 to 2002 Camaro. Now, if you don't have a stag car, if you have like a car that, that is not a non-stagger, then you just go and get a right and a left hand side back and plate and caliper and you should be good to go. Now, BRP, they give you all the instructions. It's very easy. It may sound a little bit more difficult than what it was, what it is, but it's really not that bad. And you can, this is an easy way to upgrade your car braking system because like I said, this, this car stops fabulously. And I did my whole braking system for under four or five, no, about you know, four fifty, four hundred fifty dollars. That's including the new booster because I had to get a booster because my car it didn't have a booster. It was drum brakes when I first got it, and I, you know, it comes with a little reservoir, but it's not a booster. So now it's fully powered, and like I said, you can convert your car to fully powered for under four hundred fifty dollars, no, four fifty five hundred dollars, and that's pretty good savings. All right, so. As always, <laughs> looking at the clock on the wall, or should I say ceiling, it's time for me to head on out and finish this car up and uh, possibly, hopefully, see you guys at a car show. So until we see each other again, please be easy and take care. Have a good night.